After that business with the Termor, it's good to get back to small crimes and petty thieves. How can I help you, Captain? Good timing. We just got word of a disturbance over by the Nut in the Embassy District. A vandal, it seems. I've already dispatched an officer to the site, but they probably could use some support. Talk to the officer, get an update, and interview any witnesses involved. Thank you. Normally, I wouldn't waste your time with this captain, but a functionary over at Mass reported the crime. He'll be thrilled to know that a captain of the Vanguard is on the case. See you later, Captain. Watch a lot of true crime movies. It can be a big help. Oh, yeah. He was wearing a flannel shirt underneath a trucker jacket. Hmm. That doesn't match the description from the functionary. And you said he was running away from the tram? That's right. Oh, and he was carrying a book, A Tale of Two Cities. Okay. Just hold that thought one moment, sir. I need to speak with the captain. Sure. There's a reward for this, right? Information leading to the capture? Sir, just give me a moment with the captain, please. Thanks for taking this case, Captain. I realize your time is limited. Thanks, Captain. To be honest, I'm a little starstruck. But I'll do my best to keep things professional. This was supposed to be a simple case. We got an attempted vandalism, a knocked over bin, and a witness who called in to ID the suspect. We were about to head down to the well to apprehend the guy when this new witness comes forward with additional info. Just one problem. His story conflicts with the functionaries. Yes, sir. I was the one who took the call and reported it to Sergeant Yumi. Normally, we don't give this much weight to tipsters, but when it's a masked official, we tend to take them at their word. Yeah, and then apparently ran off and knocked over a recycling bin. The perp made a bigger mess running away than he did with the spray paint. He said it was some kid from the well. According to him, the vandal ran to the tram, knocked over the bin, and took the net to the spaceport. He also said he recognized the kid's face. I ID'd him from security records and everything. Kid's name was, uh, to hear something. Sorry, Captain, I'm still new to this. I have it written down somewhere. Well, we got two witnesses with conflicting stories. So I'd like to go interview Functionary Gershon in person. Their office is at Mast, in the Interstellar Affairs Department. Affirmative. And as the higher-ranking officer, I'll let you take the lead, Captain. Am I getting paid for this? Am I gonna be on SSNN? Oh, sure. Yeah. So, I'm riding the tram to Mast, and there was this working-class guy sitting next to me. Trucker jacket, flannel shirt, the works. Now, you'd think if you're about to commit a crime, you'd be a little less conspicuous, right? Try to, I don't know, blend in? Whatever. Anyway, I figure he's going to the spaceport to haul cargo or something. But instead, he gets off at the same stop. Now I'm really curious, but before I can ask him where he's going, he pulls out a can of spray paint and starts tagging away. So I yelled at him to stop, and that's when he bolted. Yeah, not every day you see one of those. So I got curious and took a peek. It was A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens. My guess, he was using it as some sort of cover. Like, he gets you thinking he's some kind of brainiac, and you see security turns their heads. 
Then out of nowhere, bam, crime time. I've watched a ton of detective serials, so I know what I'm talking about. Gotta go. Okay. Hello. Ah, Captain. Can I just say, it's a pleasure to meet the hero who stopped the Terrymorph invasion. And Officer Markanin, was it? I see you're here as well. Is there something the matter? We just need to go over your testimony again. I apologize, but I can't right now. I have an important meeting I need to attend. But I'd be happy to stop by UC Security later and speak with your sergeant. Thank you for being so accommodating. Your reputation precedes you, Captain. While I must be going, since you're here, I do have something to help you solve this case. I encourage the both of you to check the information on my personal computer. I have written a detailed description of the Vandal, Wantahir Vala, a known criminal who resides in the well. It should have everything you need to apprehend the thief. Now, if you'll excuse me. Hello. Well, Captain, what do you think? Is what the functionary said true? Is this kid from the well our vandal? You sure, Captain? I get we got conflicting testimonies, but the witness at the tram wasn't exactly reliable. If not the kid, then who? What? Really? Do you have proof? If the terminal doesn't have what you need, try checking around his desk. Maybe even go through his trash. Why? Do you not have enough proof as is? Okay, Captain. I don't know if it'll be enough, but I trust your instincts here. And if the functionary's the perp, that means he not only committed the crime, but tried to frame the kid. If I can speak frankly, Captain, that really, really pisses me off. The functionary said he was going to chat with Sergeant Yumi, right? Let's head back to UC security and see if we can't give him what he deserves. Excuse me. Yes? There you are. 
I just finished giving a sworn statement to Sergeant Yumi. Captain, there you are. I just finished giving a sworn statement to Sergeant Yumi. I'm starting to run out of credits to give you. Whoever said crime doesn't pay? <laughs> ah, Captain. Functionary Gershon was just giving me his full statement. It's mostly repeating the documentation on my computer. I trust that was sufficient enough to make an arrest? To me? Don't be absurd, Captain. Surely this is a joke. Functionary Gershon, you're under arrest for vandalizing the tram and an attempted frame-up. Depending on what you told the sergeant, we can probably add false testimony to the list. Hold on. First off, these are very serious accusations, Captain. Are you sure you want to go down this road? More importantly, do you have any proof? Interesting. Not exactly the uniform of a functionary, is it? Functionary Gershon is still a respected official. His word does matter. Now, that is pretty damning. Old Earth books are very hard to come by. The odds of this witness naming that exact book and the functionary owning said book, that's a long shot. Unless, of course, he's the perp. You do have a point there. Well, you were right about the Terramorphs. Thankfully, the stakes are lower here. Well, I've heard all I needed to hear. Functionary, do you have anything to say for yourself? If you think I'm going to let you bring up these trumped up charges. That's enough. Officer Markinen, please escort the functionary to the holding area. Gladly, Sergeant. You can't do this! Your proof is circumstantial at best! Don't worry, Functionary. We're not putting you in jail quite yet. Unlike some people, we respect the rule of law. You'll be hearing from my lawyer, Sergeant. Expect to be demoted to desk duty by week's end. Well, we'll just have to wait and see, won't we? Now, that was a shock. Next time. Give me some warning before telling me my star witness is the one who committed the crime. <laughs> Between you and the Terramorphs, it's never a dull day around here, Captain. Anyway, good work on this case. Functionary Gershon may talk tough, but I know his type. It won't take long for him to crack. And hopefully, that means the end of his obsession with the well. And, uh... Speaking of endings, I was going to mention this earlier, but I didn't want things to turn all sentimental in the middle of your investigation. With all the new recruits as of late, our staffing problems are no longer an issue. Which means we've exhausted our need for a part-time security officer. Likewise, Captain. We have your position filled, but not your shoes. On behalf of the entire UC security department, I wish you the best of luck with the Vanguard and your future missions. And uh, if you ever need to talk or reminisce about the beat, I'll be here.